What's up, folks? Um, lifelong Fender player. Um, have uh, a couple of custom shop Fender basses, um, several, uh, actually, Fender guitars, etc., but predominantly Fenders. Um, ventured and uh, started looking at some other guitars. Not that I'm dissatisfied with Fender at all, but. Uh, hey, cat. But I'm uh, just branching out. So I came across uh, this site. Uh, it's from a company called Toman in Germany. Um, in fact, I've seen several videos. Um, and in fact, there's a there's a female bass player, Julia, who does a lot of uh, a lot of videos for Toman, and she's a badass. And if she sees this, rock on. Uh, but anyway, I started picking up on these uh, guitars called Harley Benton, and I thought, oh yeah, here's another cheapo ripoff, etc. And I am kind of eating words a little bit. Um, so far, everybody that's gotten them has loved them. Um, there's been a few bad eggs, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. So I found something on there, and uh, I thought, I'm going I'm to try this. I've been wanting to get a fretless for some time, and I didn't want to spend a ton of money on something that I didn't play very much and didn't have a lot of experience with. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a shot. And I found this on the Toman website. Now, this is a Harley Benton guitar. Um, it cost, you're not going to believe this, it cost 160 bucks U.S. With shipping, I think shipping was 50 bucks, 50 $60, somewhere around there. And the best part of it is, is it came from Germany to my house here in the States in three days. Three days. I can't get, you know, Amazon or, or half the companies here in the U.S. to ship something that fast. But here's a company that's halfway around, actually completely around on the other side of the earth from where I am, that gives me something that I ordered in three days for no extra cost on shipping. Come on, guys. Step up your games. Anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and unbox it, and let's see what this thing does. So here's the box. I just pulled it out. As you can see, it comes from Toman. Right there is a import from Germany. So let's open the box and see what we got. And there's some pretty heavy duty staples in this thing. And I'm sure there's going to be another box within the box, which I'm fine with that. Ooh, those staples are sharp too, dude. Alrighty then. Okay, we got packaging material, more packing material. And what do you know, another box within the box. So let's pull her open and see what we've got here. It seemed to be in fairly good shape. The external box and the internal, especially from traveling around the world in three days. But here we go, Harley Benton. Let me... Let me get some of this out of the way, if you'll, uh, if you'll excuse me for just a moment. And gone. All right. The big reveal. Uh, let's set this up here. Pull this open. Oh, it's taped. Taped well. Tape. Put my little box cutter back away. Okay, here we go. The unveil. And very well packaged. So far, the first thing I see, there's a battery. It looks like an adjustment uh, key, Allen key for the uh, for the for the uh, saddle and the bridge. And another Allen key. It's going to be for the neck. Sit those down here. Pour it. All right. I can already feel there's going to be some some packaging around the neck. And let's take the uh, rubber band off here. 
And there she is. Okay. So far, so good. I don't see any flaws, any damage. So let's go ahead and take this paper off. And I can feel some silica gel packs. You know, I've had guitars shipped to me from US dealers and uh, American companies that don't come this well packed or take this much care. Silica gel. And folks, there she is. It's a Harley Benton HB 550 fretless. Two humbugger pickups. Uh, I believe you've got volume, bass, mid, and treble. They are active pickups. It's an active passive switch. Uh, battery goes dead, I pull it up to passive, I'm still rocking and rolling. Or in this case, uh, well, maybe rocking, maybe not rolling, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> battery compartment, empty. Oh, I see. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but inside that compartment, one hole is bigger than the other, so it's actually just about impossible to put the battery in backwards and blow, you know, a piece of uh, effects gear or, you know, short out something. That's, uh, that's good. Plastic uh, plate covering, back plate covering. That's all right. I mean, for 100, 160 bucks, I'm not worried about that. Uh, neck ferrules instead of a neck plate, and they feel they're good and secure. There's no slop. And the neck is a satin finished neck. It feels good. Let's uh, let's feel the way this neck is. Yeah, it feels good. There's no uh, well, there's no frets. It's not going to be sharp frets, but there's no uh, there's no sharp edges on the uh, on the fretboard. It's been just lightly turned. Uh, estimate that radius is probably going to be about a 10 inch radius. It's not, uh, it's not super deep or not super curved. All right. Headstock five string. Um, and there's the name. Harley Benton. So far, she's a good looking little bass. So let's plug her in and see what we've got. I'm sure it's not gonna be tuned. So I will, uh, I'll have to do a little bit of tuning. Bear with me. I'm gonna be playing her through a Fender Rumble 40. Let's uh, get my tuner out here. And it's a Sansamp fly, bass fly rig, but I'm just using his pass through. I don't know if you can hear that, I'm getting an odd hum. Ah, I wasn't getting anything because what did I not put in? <laughs> Forgot to put the battery in. Folks, you ever had one of those days that absolutely nothing goes right? I'm having one today. It's good stuff, let me tell you. <sighs> you ever heard that old story that if you didn't have any bad luck, you wouldn't have any luck at all? That's not quite true, but some days I have to look at myself and and wonder how I'm able to walk and breathe at the same time. <laughs> Man, that is really well packaged. Come on now, don't make me look bad here. There we go, there we go. All right, and one hole bigger than the other, so we'll drop that in just like that. I'm sorry you didn't see that. Drop that in. 
Hey, look at that. Now we got now we got juice. Let's tune her up here. B. Come on, baby. That's E flat, sorry. Two shot. There we go. There we go. A string. And so far it's intonating nicely. Come on now. New strings are stretching. One thing I will say that I'm not real happy about is they have round wounds on a fretless. No, don't do that. All right, let's see how she sounds. Not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some flat wounds on this. You don't I don't know why they would put round wounds on a flatless, but that's the that's the only so far the only negative I'm gonna I'll give her. Let's uh let's give this a little bit of fun. Turn compression on. Uh, octave and a chorus. Let's see.
give that a little bit of a tweak. I like it. $160, Harley Benton. It just works. For a, a basic, simple fretless, you can't go wrong. I can't wait. I'm going to buy more. Toman, well done. I'm a loyal Guitar Center fan, but you got my interest. So that's it, folks. Have an awesome. Oh, and by the way, uh, I bought this myself. Uh, nothing was sponsored. This was. Uh, just me wanting to do something. Uh, I don't have any sponsorship. I'm just the average Joe, and this is just a regular old guitar unboxing. So, Harley Benton, well done. Toman, well done. You guys be good. Catch you on the flip.